Hi, I'm Moira, and this year I work with Archer and Adapted, and he's going to be a junior next year. Um, so some things about Archer, he really likes video games, uh, specifically Mario stuff. Um, he also really likes Star Wars. He will talk about that all the time. He loves it. Um, he also really likes his phone. He uses that a lot. Um, he also really likes his cats at home. He likes to talk about them and tell you about them. He also likes to wander, like when we're doing activities, he will often just wander away, so just be aware of that. Um, he doesn't like when he has to put his phone away for gym. He doesn't like having to like put it away so he can start the class, so that's one main thing that he doesn't like. Um, in terms of physical limitations, he doesn't have any specific ones, but um, he often has a hard time staying focused and engaged in an activity during gym. So, yeah, um, and then in terms of modifications, for exercises like push-ups or sit-ups, he can usually only do um, a low number of reps, so just kind of working on getting that number higher. Um, but then for group activities and sports, like I said earlier, he often has a hard time staying engaged, so we kind of modify that by taking him on a few walking laps around the gym so that he's still getting exercise, but he doesn't have to directly participate in the activity. So I've had Archer my junior and my senior year, so I've had almost two years of experience working with him, and he is one of my best friends and one of the nicest kids I've ever met in my life. But really what's worked and what hasn't worked is, so he's a very like uh, active kid. He will try anything. Um, whether it's just running or like hitting a baseball or stuff, he, he won't be afraid to like try anything. The thing is, he's just not the most like motivated kid. So you have to really try to motivate him and be like, come on, let's just hit this ball like five more times. Like give him a number instead because if you just sit there and start hitting the ball, he kind of gets distracted because he does tend to get distracted quite easily. So really just making him, making sure that he stays engaged um, is what's going to work for you. And to just make sure that he doesn't wander off or we try to improve whatever he's working on. Like if we're just hitting a baseball, like try to step, like throw a little farther back or just kind of adjust so we can keep growing forward and not just staying at the same place because he doesn't have that many physical limitations. So um, just making sure he stays engaged and motivated is what's going to work for you. And if it's what really doesn't work is um, anytime he gets distracted doing things. So like sometimes this year we just said, okay, just like play basketball the whole period. But some that's not really like specific enough where it's like a specific activity to be doing something. So he kind of just like, okay, well, like what else are we going to do? Because he's just not going to sit there and shoot basketball a period because he's going to get distracted. So make sure you have specific tasks to like complete throughout the period, if that makes sense. Um so a, pe a typical PE period, what it would look like is he comes in um, pretty early and you have to make sure he puts on a shirt right away. Um, and the most important aspect about Archer, especially this year, he had a problem with uh, going on his phone. He likes to get distracted on his phone. Um, so make sure he like puts that in his backpack and just emphasize like, hey, we're going to put <clears throat> the phone away for the entire period. Um, so we can avoid him not going on it or sneaking off and getting it because what Archer tends to do is he likes to say he's going to the bathroom but then takes his phone with him and then sits there on his phone the entire period or like as long as you can. Um, so make sure that he avoids bringing his phone, especially going to the bathroom. Um, also about the whole bathroom aspect, he likes to go at the beginning of the period. At least this year he went every time he would ask Mr. Lago to go to the bathroom like right away and he likes to spend a lot of time in the bathroom I don't know if he's actually like has to go to the bathroom or he just likes to sit there and not have to do adapt um the PE right away but he does like to take a very long bathroom time so you can like wait outside for him and just to make sure that he does like hurry up and try to minimize that bathroom time as much as possible and also make sure he washes his hands because he always forgets to wash his hands. So after he comes out, just make sure that he washed his hands. Um, so Archer is very attached to his phone and stuff. So how to utilize rewards and motivate is kind of be like, if you like run around the gym five times, you can have like five minutes of phone time. And he just will like sit there and Google stuff about um, like his video games. So like that's almost a reward system. Or be like, if we um 
throw the ball 10 more times and you catch it 10 more times you can uh like have like a little break because he likes he doesn't really get bored but he likes to kind of go in his own like mind space so he just kind of like sits there and he likes to create like commercials in his head or like video games in his head or inventions that's kind of like his thing so you can say you can we can throw the ball 10 more times and then you can have like five minutes of like you time where he just likes to just wander and even though he's wandering and thinking he's just creating like these different scenarios in his head which is what I've discovered throughout the years um if there really ever is a conflict there's really not a conflict but just make sure that if he's ever doing something like says something like uh, slightly inappropriate or does something like keeps like picking his nose or like biting his nails to like avoid the germs make sure that you like not scold him in like an improper way but just make sure that like he understands the mistakes he's making and to not do that again and to apologize if he ever does something wrong or offends anybody accidentally just to so we can improve and so we can know what he wants to work on um any other tips or advice uh, Archer's the best. He likes jokes. So if you even tell like funny knock knock jokes or if ask him, do you have any knock knock jokes? He loves those. Um, yeah. Um, he just, so the whole bathroom thing, that was like an important aspect this year, which is weird because it didn't happen my junior year, but he liked to go to the bathroom this year and go on his phone this year. So I don't know like if he's going to change by next fall or whatever, but he is like one of the best kids I've ever met he is so nice he does oh he does um get a little touchy sometimes he likes to like either hold your hand or put your arm around you or touch your hair he was very obsessed with my hair this year um so just make sure that we say like hands to ourselves let's try to use appropriate behavior but he just likes like like touch by yeah so just make sure that anything you do is appropriate and to understand that he needs to have like this aspect of personal space so that when he goes on past high school he doesn't go up to random strangers and start touching them and stuff instead of being like one of your nice friends um any other tips or advice he is a very smart kid he's very um like in math or like his chemistry or like English classes he's really really smart and in, in all of those ways and that really amazed me about him um yeah, you should be very lucky that you have such a great kid to lead for this year, and I wish you all success for your future with Archer and everything, yeah. Have fun!